Drink up, my boy. Fancy I yourself. I said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my just May their souls find their way to Sovngarde! Take it easy, Father. I presume father. you're bothering me for a good reason. I'll rest easy. What in the name of oblivion do you want? Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. Don't tell me. Sibby and Louis Latrush? Well, Sibby is in jail. And Latrush is certainly welcome to try. My hired help is more than a match for him. Really? Now that is interesting. Then you should know that Louis and I have a certain history. Tell you what, go along with his plans for now. I'll keep an eye on you both, and when the time is right, I'll settle accounts with Louis. New around, Riften? Take my advice. Stay at the B&B bar. The bunkhouse isn't for you. Aha! A fellow Nord. I trust you're bringing the fight to the Empire? Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. It was my sister, Lilia. She served as a battle maiden with the Stormcloaks. We recently heard she'd been killed. I... I find it difficult talk about. Perhaps you'd be better off speaking to my parents about it. Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Black Briar Meadery keeps me busy. Helps me keep my mind off of things. My father was a Stormcloak soldier in his younger days. Now he just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. My mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine that teaches his ways. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family values. They're still my parents, and I love them dearly. I just think they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with this war. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. I think Ulfric cares about Ulfric, and the rest is a smokescreen. I'd appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. The last thing I want to do is have my parents lose another child. Yes, actually. I'm partnered with Maven Blackbriar. I put up a chunk of the gold she needed to get the place off the ground. We've been staggeringly successful so far. In fact, I'm almost surprised how quickly she's generated business for us. My name may not be on the label, but some of my blood, sweat, and tears are in every drop. Uh, figuratively, of course. It's been good talking to you. Damn it, Talon. I still don't have enough this year to get out of Riften. Don't worry. The time will come when we can walk away from here. I hope so. I can't stand this city anymore. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately you for you, got the coin, you're that skill can here. be bought. Otherwise, hit the Sorry, road. I'm afraid I can't help you. What brings you to Balaman today? Repair? Purchase? People say I'm making gold off of other people's misery, but what else would I do? Smithing is all I know. Next time one of my shields deflects a killing blow, they'll change their tune. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. 
You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. A flame Atronox body might provide fire salt. They're dangerous creatures that can be summoned by wizards. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. They occasionally have them for sale. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. Scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly involved a dragon. It killed several soldiers before it departed. I want you to speak to the city guard. Make sure there's a contingency plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Yes, my lady. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. I'd hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Blackbriar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Welcome to Riften, Traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. While I feel Ulfric's cause is just, my concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Aldmeri Dominion? When the smoke cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Good journey to you. Oh, come to gloat, have we? To poke fun at the Jarl's youngest son? Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. Dared to speak my mind. I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. Now my mother stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim and steps on anyone that gets in his way. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos, and uses it 
as his rallying cry. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. All right, then. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. I can feel you laughing behind my back. You could say that the Ratway is the city under the city. Dark, dangerous, and no place for decent folk. You're not supposed to be down here. What are you doing down here? Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. What do you need? sight for sore eyes. I've always got time for lovely ladies. When speaking of the Blackfriars, only one thought should spring to mind. 
We are not to be trifled with. Help us, you end up rich. Cross us, and you'll end up a memory. Is that enough information for you? Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Sviddy. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I mean, I had to defend myself. Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Rifton, and this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her, and I promise you'll be well compensated. She was a young woman, buxom, with long, flowing black hair. She used to sing the most lovely songs to me when we were courting. Never heard a voice so beautiful. All that talent will go to waste when I'm finished with her. Mother thought I should be taught a lesson for airing the family's dirty laundry in public. I mean, I've taken care of many people for her in the past. What in oblivion did she expect me to do? Ah, well, at least I have all the comforts of home during my stay. Well, except the touch of a woman, of course. Ah, and let me guess, he wants his horse. Well, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. You see, I don't really outright own Frost. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Trouble?
have to wonder, what does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thune be taught like any skill? I could have left it behind. I could have put it back where it came from. You, you must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. The memories, I cannot stand them. You must take them away, return them to a Monchenzel. You must take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. You must bring it to a Monchenzel in the West. Return it to them. It must go back. The waiting. The insufferable waiting. Here, I want you to have this. Don't ask, just take it. Yes? You know Bellathor's shop in Whiterun? That'd be a good place to start. He carries all sorts of things like that. It would seem so. Thanks. Good luck out there. I could have left it I could have put it back. Of course. That doesn't change anything. What? No! You expect me to believe that? It speaks the truth. My thanks to you. You need to leave. You need to leave. You have question?
trouble? What can I get you? Meat? Wine? Are you joking? You just rented a room from me. Mule the lioness used to adventure across Skyrim before she settled down in Riften. I hear it all ended when she lost her enchanted blade. Come back and see us again. Well met, friend. How can I help you? Whoa. Okay, lass. Ready to make some coin. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Don't take this no the wrong pushing, way, no shoving. but you Plenty look a little room. sickly. This way, everyone. Over here. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. No pushing, no shoving. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity. You're not here. Okay, lass. Ready to make some coin. Yeah, what do you want? If this is about the meadery, we can talk later. Maven Blackbriar wants me to keep the mead flowing, and that's what I aim to do despite all these lazy good-for-nothings that work for us. Ever since I took over as a foreman, the production of our mead has never been more profitable. And if the meadery is profitable, I'll get rich. Get the picture? Elixir for sale. Lady Maven could buy or sell anyone in Skyrim. I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one pulling the strings around this city. She's always welcome in Miss Vale Keep, and between you and me, I'm pretty sure she even has some pretty influential friends within the Empire. I'd also warn you not to cross her. She employs quite a few troubleshooters to take care of messy problems. You're crazy. How dare you make such an accusation? You aren't making any sense. And what over? Genuine Falmer blood elixir for sale. 
If word gets around that I betted her, they'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. Take the mark if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. Fresh meats and produce. Hey, I'm the brewmaster around way. here. Who are what you, did you to want? judge me? So what if I have a problem? I know how to deal with it. I'm quite busy. Need something? Welcome. Can I get back Allow out? me to recommend the Black Briar Mead, the purest brew in all of Skyrim. She's an absolute pleasure to work for. In fact, I almost feel guilty accepting pay from her. Why, just this last week, I was commenting to my fellow meadery workers just how lucky we are to be working for such a charitable family. <coughs> Look, if I'm caught saying anything bad about the meadery or the family, I'm a dead man. I'm the fourth person to work the tasting counter in the last year. The last three are at the bottom of Lake Honrick. Just take my advice, and just get out of Riften as soon as you can. Lady Maven's been developing the secret recipe for Black Briar Mead over the last several decades. She uses a very secret blend of spices, fresh honey from Golden Glow Estate, and specially constructed aging casks to ensure the best flavor. Even when you get to the last sip in your flagon, it'll taste just as good as the first. Damn it. Sorry. I'm not very good at this. Look, just don't say anything to Maven, will you? I've spent weeks trying to get that right, and if she sees how stupid I am, she'll get rid of me. Yeah. Fired. Sure. That's what I meant. Take a look. I can see us again. Welcome. Allow me to recommend the Black Briar Mead, the purest brew in all of Skyrim. Welcome to the Pond Frog. Come on in, take a look around. Welcome to the Pond Frog. What can I do for you? Catchy, isn't it? In my youth, I was a fisherman. I had a beautiful ship named the Brawny Prawn. But the years have a way of creeping up on you. I ended up selling that ship to open this place. Seemed only fitting to name it after her. Well, changed it a bit, I suppose. If I had been smarter, I would have kept my boat. Coming to this city was a big mistake. <laughs> the question is, what isn't wrong with Riften? This city's corrupt. Rotten to the core. No one cares about anything except themselves. 
and how much coin they can make off the misery of others. Authorities, if you've been listening to what I said, they're all dirty. Every one of them. The only way to get things done in this city is to keep your head down and pay off the right people. It's our name for the old sewers that run under the city. It used to be a huge system hundreds of years ago, but it fell into decay, just like the rest of Riften. The guild stocks the place full of thugs that aren't good enough to join, so watch yourself if you venture down there. Take a look. day. You don't look so good. Are you feeling all right? My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Working at the Riften fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. Beautiful baubles and gleaming it. gemstones over here. Gems, potions... Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Not well, I'm afraid. That Brynjolf keeps draining the people's pockets with his ridiculous miracle cures. A few months ago, it was Troll Fat Sav, and now he's got something new. Not that there's anything that can be done about it. He's in good with the Thieves' Guild. I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxlil jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits, and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. Thank you, Landstrider. I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. See for yourself. Genuine Falma blood elixir. You gonna buy something or just here for training? Otherwise, move on. Look, I've moved all over Skyrim selling these bits of junk, and I'm barely scraping by. 
I'm not out to win friends, and I could care less if you're happy about your purchase or not. I just need the coin. The sooner I get out of Skyrim, the better. Are you serious? The war is tearing the land apart. The dragons have returned seeking who knows what. Skyrim is going nowhere, fast. If I were you, I'd pack up and get out of here before you end up in one of those burial cairns. They'd stop at nothing to take your last bit of food if that's all you had. The Ratway's too good a place for that scum. There are ruined sewer tunnels beneath the city. The only way I know how to get in there is through a door off of the canal. If I were you, I'd keep my feet dry and stay up here. Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones over here. Take a look. Learn a library's worth of knowledge in moments, or draw back that missing limb with my genuine Falma blood elixir. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness knows I could use it. Looking to stay alive? Why take I've a chance? I've got your back. How can I serve you, my Thane? Get going then. Have anything you wish to sell? I pay fair prices for all sorts of goods. Make love like a I may be dark elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For reasons I'm still trying to discover, I ended up orphaned, then taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Marsh. I hope one day to find out what happened to me, how I ended up like that. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Telvani. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. Jewelry. Legendary Argonian Thank you. craftsmanship. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. I learned that a matron who had served for House Telvani had escaped like Morrowind <laughs> during the Accession <laughs> War. Like Records showed her buying passage aboard a sailing this. vessel named Could the Pride of Telvos. But that's where the trail ran cold. I spent years looking for what became of the ship, but I ended up empty-handed. Protect yourself right. Armor Anything you can find would be of great help. Good luck. All meats guaranteed. Clean and clean. Okay, lass. Ready to make some coin. I'm ready. You are. Exotic Just give the word. Some fresh meat to fill your belly, perhaps? I picked up a trick from a butcher in Eleanor, a small town over the border in Hammerfell. He showed me a way to grind up ice wraith teeth and use it as a preservative. Keeps everything cold and fresh, but only for a limited time. I'm always looking to replenish my supply, so if you ever come across five of them, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Thanks. I was actually worried I'd run out. Well, I'd be careful of IOUs. I hear the Nords hunt them for some kind of initiation rite, 
not all of them end up victorious. The last traveler that traded me some said he found them at a place called Ancient Ascent. Careful, though. Rumor has it a dragon makes its home there. They live below the streets in the ratway like dirty animals. And trust me, they're no better than the vermin that slink out of there for scraps. They make it difficult for decent people to earn a living. Of course, not many decent people live here in the first place. It's Riften's name for the sewers beneath our feet. Absolutely disgusting. If you fancy keeping your purse filled with gold and your head on your shoulders, I'd stay out of those awful tunnels. Just what you see here. Be careful looking for those teeth. Those little bastards are dangerous. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Get them before they're gone. Fairest prices and the highest quality in Skyrim. Learn a library's worth of knowledge in moments, or draw back that missing limb with my genuine Falma blood. Flixer. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. They say a crystal cloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Somebody help! Oh. Never should have come here.
any luck with Sapphire? Five, eight. You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. All right, then. and weapons, all for sale at I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I've got your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens.
Lead on. It can't be. You... You took its very soul. <laughs> By the gods. I don't even know what to say. This one needs something? May your road lead you to warm sand. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? By the gods. I don't even know what to say. Ah, I'm not afraid of anything out here. Walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. Not me. I'm no weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms in all of Skyrim. Oh, sounds like I've got a challenger. Tell you what, how about a friendly wager just between us? I bet you my entire purse of septums I could beat you in a fist fight. You match the bet, and we fight until one of us gives in. I don't blame you. If I were in your shoes, I'd chicken out too. Well, offer still stands if you ever want to have a go. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. Look, you must have me confused with someone else. I don't want a bad reputation in Riften, but Helga's out of control. She wanted to try it in the stables, so I said yes. If you want the mark that badly, then go ahead and take it. Been stuck with the name for years. I've been riding horses since I was a lad. Nothing I liked more. But as I got bigger, so did my mounts. Then one day, I was drunker than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt. Broke his back in two. Haven't ridden since. Don't mind if you do. What's your price? Until mm -hmm. next time. So many refuse to talk to us. Take a look. May your road lead you to warm sands. <laughs> 